My name is Larry Haugen. I'm the Human Resources and Training Manager for Graham Division of Asa Abloy. Uh, we're part of a global organization that's comprised of over 150 companies in 80 countries and employ 32,000 people globally. Uh, here in Mason City, we employ about 250 employees, uh, about 190 of which are our hourly production employees. Uh, our workforce uh, challenge in the future is to be able to, to maintain levels of staffing and to be able to cope with any, any growth in our industry and also to deal with uh, changes in, in technology that, that will impact the, the type of worker we need to bring into the workforce. Well, we may have fewer, um, more manual uh, material handling jobs. There will be higher levels of automation that are going to require uh, a little bit more advanced skill sets than the factory jobs of the past. Uh, we're located in, in North Iowa, uh, just off Interstate 35, uh, just south of the border, about 30 miles. Uh, it's a predominantly rural area. Our community is about 28,000 people, but we've seen a, um, an aging, declining population, and that demographic doesn't appear to be changing. From a workforce perspective, uh, we certainly have concerns as our workforce ages to be able to backfill positions as, as people re retire and move on, but also, you know, from a community perspective, all, all, there's a, been a great record of volunteerism in this community, and we, we have concerns, you know, as, as these uh, older volunteers uh, kind of right off into the sunset where, you know, that we need people in the community that can, can fill those roles and continue to expand volunteerism in, in the community as well. To be successful in, in the work world today, you, you know, obviously you need to be able to be to work on time every day and, and to be able to devote the time you're at work to, to work issues and, and be able to separate work from home and home from work. Uh, we need people that, that are collaborative, that can work with others, yet still be able to be, work, work independently without a, a high level of supervision, to be critical thinkers and, and problem solvers be able to analyze situations and, and change and react. Some of the things I'd like to see schools continue to emphasize with kids, you know, the, the importance of you know, the, the basic skills, obviously, of reading, writing, mathematics, but, you know, the ability to work with others and, and treat each other respectfully and, and be open-minded to, to change and, and new ideas. And also, I think we, we sometimes miss opportunities to showcase some of the, the real assets and, and amenities that we have in Iowa. There, there are some world-class companies here that offer great careers, and sometimes we drive by them every day and, and, and don't, don't see them for what they are. And a lot of companies that have uh, strong track records of, of growing people, promoting from within and, and developing people into higher management roles. So it'd be, you know, it'd be nice when, when those things are in or near your community to make sure kids see them. Because sometimes, you know, again, it's the, the thing we drive by every day that we take for granted.